Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy, CMM Triff Gaming, and today we got a very, very special video for you guys. I showed you guys all the Pendulum gimmicky decks, the OTKs me and Jesse made, all these uh, cool decks, but none of them are the pure, amazing obliteration version, which I'm gonna be showing you guys now. My official uh, July 20, whatever it is today, Magician deck updated to destroy the meta, destroy everyone. Goki suck. This is number one deck, tier zero. So we're gonna get right into it. There's gonna be no gimmicky stuff. Uh, Jesse Cotton is a bad player, and I think I'm gonna duel him now because he was talking bare smack to me. But you don't know talk smack to the pen god because you're gonna get obliterated. But we're gonna go right into the video. Before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to subscribe for the giveaway. Uh, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away a free mat to one of you randoms, the ones I like. I love you guys. So let's get right into the video, guys. <laughs> I'd just like to add that, uh, you know, when me and Steven play, I... Uh, yeah, what happened? What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? How many times have we played, Steven? Uh, I'm not sure. How, How many, many times? All right, guys, so here it is. We got three Chrono, three Cerberus, three Curtain Razor. All these absolutely necessary, like, obviously. Also, these four as well. We got Foolish, two Dragon Shrine, and one for one. These are the 12, or uh, the 13 turbo cards that we play. You need to play as many as possible because when you open one of these, you auto win. Open two of them, you'll play through whatever hand trap they got. This is the equivalent, drawing one of these is the equivalent of drawing Soul Charge in uh, uh, Goki. Uh, believe me, Goki suck, man. Well, like, what, if they don't have one of their called by the grave cards and you just hand trap them, they, they, they can't play. Uh, so, but we don't play hand traps anyways because we're men and only uh, little girls play hand traps, so we don't play those. But we got 13 uh, turbo cards, now the plus cards, we got many of those. These also count as plus cards because one for one will get Kepler, which is a plus three, four. Shrine and Foolish will give you the plus one from the uh, zero. So they're still absolutely necessary. And then we got these. These are also all pluses. I'm just going to put them all out here so you guys can see. These are all the plus cards we got. I'm just putting them all out there. Also, this is the first video that I'm going to be posting an actual... Uh, I'm putting them all out there just like this because this is the first video I'm going to be posting an actual written decklist for you guys. So the written decklist will be in the description. But over here is... Uh, just a visual aspect of it. So these are all plus cards. Even Thomas, even Thomas is a plus card because if you draw Thomas, all you do is send Kepler with Electrum after you do the Chrono, and then Thomas add back to Kepler and you do the Chrono plays. So all these are plus cards, every single one of them, and they're absolutely necessary. This is the, just the visual of it. I will send you guys the, uh, I will send you guys on the description. I'm gonna be writing the, the written deck list. So those are the plus cards and the turbo cards. Now for the magician cards. The magician cards by itself are not the best, but you need the magician cards because you want them in the scale. So it, a lot of times if you open one of these three, three wisdom, oath, whatever it is, open one of these, open one of these four, and then you could send the other one with Electrum and you still have the magician in scales. It's not mandatory to always have the magician in scales. This is way better because if you have wisdom and oath rolling around, oath will get you a plus one. And Wisdom will get you the utility you need through the other ones. Because Fang, Poison, Harmonize, they're all great utility cards. Uh, so the, the magician, these are the only magicians you need. Only one of each aside from Wisdom. You do not need to play more than one Harmonizing, okay? Do not play more than one Harmonizing because the game plan is three Electrum and Firewall in the middle. So you're only Pendulum summoning one card from hand. So Harmonizing then becomes a Pendulum Garnet because it has no effect aside from Pendulum. Uh, uh, special Monster. After you Pendulum this, Special Monster from your deck but you, we're not using that effect, hence making it a Garnet. It's only there for a Brick, or when you get, a lot of people playing Ghost Ogre now, so it's when you get Ghost Ogre, you get Oath it back and you summon it. It's like Ogre wasn't even there, like Ogre didn't even do anything. So it's important to play one Harmonizing to get it when you need it through Hand Traps, but that's it. Uh, if I knew my Firewall, if, uh, if I knew my, if Hand Traps weren't a thing, I would play zero Harmonizing right now. But because it is a thing, it's important to search it when you absolutely need to, through Oath, Wisdom, etc. So one is all you need. Next, two Jackal. Uh, you need it because it's a generic uh, monster negate through uh, just a pendulum monster negate. And you go into a Naruto and obviously Cerberus. Uh, even if Cerberus wasn't a free summon, I'd still be playing Jackal. Because Jackal is literally, uh, the fact that it's a, a one card pendulum monster negate, uh, it's very underrated and very necessary. And then we got, uh, we have two, the two level sevens that are still needed to ensure all those cards are big pluses. The United is because people, even though most people are still playing Goki, there's still a lot of Trickstar, Skystarker going around. The United is absolutely necessary for that. And also because you do not want Kepler or Thomas in the scales. So it's good, even if the Trickstars weren't a thing, to have a free monster that is level 7 and low scale to add with all those cards. Because you're going to be going through the Keplers 
and contracts every turn, and if you don't have it, you search it. So it's necessary, and then for Dark Worm, and if active is level seven, those don't break. No card I showed you breaks so far. There's just 39 Pendulum cards that all have utility and do something on top of just being a Pendulum. And then the one brick, but it's still necessary, a point of the Red Lotus, it's not even a brick if you draw it, just a trap card. And you absolutely need to, it's 40 cards by the way, we're just playing 40 because we don't want to get sacked by Joe Reincarnation. Uh, this absolutely obliterates Brick Stars because you have nothing that searches. But Buku doesn't count because you're facing that, that bad deck, you just don't search. You just Pendulum Summon it and it's a monster. If you play cards like Pencall or Desires, you can't activate them because then your whole hand is going to get uh, lost by Joe Reincarnation. So you don't need to activate those, but these are monsters, so it's all good. And this is an amazing card. This gets rid of the problem in their hand, and you see their hands, so you know what to negate. For those of you who don't know what a point of Red Lotus does, pay 2,000 light points, reveal all cards in your, in your hand. You're always going to have one, because Griffin will give you one at the end by the draw. Look at your opponent's hand, select a card, remove it from play to the end phase. Uh, so that's, you just take care of the problem, and you OTK them the next turn, so it's irrelevant if it goes back to their hand. Way better than Imperial Order, because this is good against absolutely everything you play. Order is not good against Goki, so why would you play Order if Order is not uh, good against the only deck that is uh, good, uh, close enough against Pendulum? Uh, next, for those of you who are wondering why am I playing a trap card, you search us every turn. The end board is always going to be Firewall, Griffin, Vortex, and this set. Beatrice is going to send this, and Griffin is going to set it back. So it is absolutely necessary, and this is the most uh best utility trap in, uh, that we can play so we got 40 cards that's the main deck all 40 have perfect utility and they work perfectly together the consistency is also unbelievable and the power is uh rivals only that of thanos all right no Yu-Gi-Oh deck that's for sure next we're gonna go to the extra deck we got three electrums you already know next we got the link threes metaltron everyone's been playing this and next summon sorceress sorceress and pendulums is amazing it's as amazing as it is in, uh, in Goki because two Electrums equal the seven Sorceries. So a lot of times when they hand trap you, like four hand traps, five hand traps, whatever, they're gonna hand trap you too many times. And you're gonna be left with two Electrums. They're gonna, they're gonna Veiler, they're gonna Impermanence, they're gonna do whatever. So you're left with two Electrums, the last Electrum bring out a Chronograph, so then you go into the Summon Sorceries, Chronograph, bring out something else, uh, uh, get another Jackal, and you go into the third Electrum. And then it gives you so many plays and utility to do crazy plays. And the Metatron, in case uh, uh, you brick big time, which doesn't really happen, mainly if they hand trap you, and you have to go Metatron instead of Firewall, and still you pen five. And that's also how Harmonizing comes in, is when you have to go Metatron. So you have the Harmonizing to still ensure you get the fi pen five monsters. And we got, and then Griffin Firewall. Those are the only links we play. Boreload is not necessary, because Boreload. Uh, what are you going to do? Bo uh, you can't borrow load against Goki because you're going to always have Ibli on board anyways. So it's absolutely useless. And you don't need to play, don't even worry about any other decks. I'm telling you, it's just Goki. Anything else is, yeah, we built this, the main deck. We built the main deck to destroy every deck. We built the side deck to destroy Goki. So the main deck obliterates everything but Goki. And uh, if they Goki, you link you. You just side 12 cards, which I'll show you guys later. Then uh, for the, we have one card. Uh, we have a few cards, so Totem Bird, uh, a lot of times you can end on a free Totem Bird on top of the board, I told you, the Vortex Firewall Griffin and the Trap card, if you have access to Babuku. So, uh, Necessary, Dweller, Necessary, Tornado Necessary, Naruto Necessary, Beatrice, Absolute, and Vortex, these are all necessary, they're very big for certain situations, Naruto is like one card I'll cut out, but it's still necessary, so make sure to play it, especially Summon Sorcerers, gives you a lot more access to it, and Ignister, I play one Ignister uh, because of the side deck, so I'll show you guys the side deck. Ignister allows you to clear the Goki board. If you draw one of the nine cards, you're gonna side. Uh, I'll explain it in a bit. So the side deck is gonna be three Cyber Dragon, three Toon Cyber Dragon, and three Humongous Kaiju. Draw one of these nine, one of these nine, and you clear the board. How? If you draw the Cyber Dragon, you Mega Fleet them, clear two of the issues, and then eventually you're going to near Gearsu after, you know, three Electrum and then have the near Gearsu. So, uh, three Electrum and then middle goes near Gearsu instead of Firewall. Take care of one. And then Ignistra will take care of another card. None of these cards target. So they take care of them without entering your battle phase. Because uh, there's a high chance you're going to have to enter your battle phase to allow the Cyber Dragons or the Kaijus to resolve. Also, shout out Jesse for convincing me to play the Cyber Dragons. He showed me a cool way to play the Cyber Dragons in another build with ABCs. And I thought uh, they're incredibly underrated and actually they're way better than in the Sphere mode because uh, you need your normal summon. So uh, being able to crash, and then uh, Cyber Dragon is very relevant. And then uh, that old Cowboy as well, because time is still a thing. 
and uh, we don't stall out here, but it's just like soccer. So it's like if it's the 90th minute, yeah, maybe you'll fall down and dive a little bit. Big deal. And then a uh, three-red reboot, and that's the deck. Uh, red reboot is just in case you play a deck with anti-spell, etc. That's the deck. 40 cards, obliterates everything. Hope you guys like the video. See you guys in, in the outro. That was my 40 card pendulum list, obliterates everything. Make sure to play that card for card and write the exact uh, list in the description. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. It's been a long time since I posted an actual real pendulum deck on my official list right now. It's been cool FTKs and stuff, which FTKs are sick, they're fun, but I hate them, bro. I'm not playing no, no tourney with FTKs. Uh, men don't win with FTKs. Uh, little men win with FTKs. People that play Gokis win with FTKs. I play real deck, pendulums. We play pendulums out here. So we're playing the real way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! which is a bunch of negates and uh, not no FTK BS. Anyways, hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be posting videos every day, maybe two a day even. And uh, check out my video I'm gonna be posting tomorrow. I'm gonna be guys giving, uh, giving you guys an update on uh, uh, my fitness. I've been getting a little bigger and bigger. I'm benching 185 now and uh, we'll see how it goes uh, when you guys see your boy in the Olympia five years from now. Cause you already know uh, fitness isn't a one week thing, it's a lifetime thing. So I'm uh, two, weeks into my, two weeks into my transformation now. So only two weeks in, two weeks in, I started benching 135. I'm already at 185 bench. Uh, obviously, there's some muscle memory there, but having that in two weeks is insane. So we'll see where, where five years takes me. But anyways, see you guys in the next video. Boys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and to be signed up for the giveaway. See you guys in the next video. Peace.